Hi guys, welcome to this session in Power BI. What I want to cover in this session is how you can bring data from Excel and create relationships in Power BI. So I'm on the opening screen and I could go for blank report or I can just do a step quicker by grabbing an Excel workbook, which I'm going to do. Now it's going to open up in the folder that I've got my Excel files in. So I want these three files. So I'm clicking on customer. Now it will load up the query editor where I can transform the data or just load it straight into Power BI. So this is customers. Take that on. And then I'm just going to load it. I don't need to transform any of that. So just load that in. So customers comes in, you can see the columns there. Now I need to repeat the process for the other two tables. So I'll click on the Excel link, double click on products. That will bring products in and you'll see it sitting down the right hand side once it's complete. Tick that, I'm just going to load it straight in and then just wait for it to load up. So there's products and then the last one is sales sales data bring that one in repeat the process so each step you could go into transform and change anything or add things to it if you have anything that needs changing so let's just load that up now to create a relationship what you have to do is Tell Power BI what that is. Now, sometimes it will pick it up automatically, but if you're not sure, if you go to this icon, model view, you can see the three tables there. Let me just hide this out of the way. I want to just bring sales underneath and then just move these apart slightly. All the number fields, you can see the little the sum symbol next to it. I'll just make these a little bit bigger. All the fields are displayed, but just so you can see that. It's a case of just drag and drop in the links. So basically customer number, one customer can have many sales. So I'm just going to drag that across to customer there. And then it will come up with a wizard, just checking that you've got the right fields, which is correct. That's the correct link. It's picking up at the bottom there, one to many, which is what I want. So I'm just going to save that. And you get this symbol there one to many same thing for products product id field to product here and again the wizard will open up to check that that is a correct link and it's got one to many at the bottom so that's a save as well so basically that's all you have to do to link tables together as long as there is a relationship you can't just do that randomly now if i go back to visualizations view i can now start using all these fields and it will allow me to pull information from separate tables to create a visualization so for example if i click on table first of all there's a table now if i tick contact in that table customer and then i tick name in products it will list the names i'll make this a little bit bigger and then if I tick quantity, it will then tell me what the quantities were of those sales, if you like. So most of them are one until you get to here. So Dave Green had three Excel, Dave Green had Office two and so on and so on. So that's pulling information from three separate tables, which you've got linked down there. You can see them. Now, if I click on a different visual, you've got let's have a look at this and let's just tick quantities on the sales table so it'll just give us the number of total quantities which is the same as that pair look 52 52 quantity sales now if I click off that one if you want to add a quick measure on this data say you want the actual price next to these and then a sum at the bottom first off let me just put the sale price on I'll tick that on so that's giving you the price there but I want the total at the bottom here. So I'm going new measure at the top. 
uh, load up and then I'm going to call it total price and then I need to do equals and it's just sum as in Excel with an open bracket and then you can select the item you want the total which is the sale price you must close the sum bracket tick that and then you'll get the measure appearing over on this side here if I tick that on you get it coming out at the bottom there if I just move this visual up to the top you get the total measure there and if I put a card on the screen let's just put the card on the screen and tick that that figure shows in there if you do a filter by clicking on one of these that will change to reflect whatever you select like so as I'm changing you can see what's happening here so once you click away everything comes back and reverts back if you want to format any of these visuals you can do so by just clicking over on the right here on this little symbol and then it'll give you some options we're going to general you've got visual and general so title I'll put the title on and then if I drop this down you can type something in there so this is total sales you can see it appearing there you've got the option of changing the header different styles I'll leave it on that one you can change the font you can change the color of all of this and you can change the alignment put it in the middle it looks better if you want you've got a subtitle option I'm not going to put that on I'm just going to come off this one and move further down so underneath that you've got effects if I click into there you've got background color for the this is a card so I'll pick a color orange mm, just about works you can make that transparent a little maybe that'll be better slightly better and you've got different options here border and shadow I'm not going to do those come down a bit more data format so that's not in any format it's just a number but if I drop that down you've got options in here I'll come down format options currency is what I'm after and then it comes up with the currency sign pounds unlock that off so down here you've got header icon on change the color then you'll see where it is this is where it's talking about these two I'll leave that on like that even though it looks a bit iffy tool tip you can add alternate text you can add so all of these visuals you can customize from here you can also use the format painter over here I'll click on that and then paste it into this one this one then picks up the same styles if you like that I've got on, on the first one I might as well do the um, this side as well okay this one doesn't look as good I'd have to play around with this one doing some of the formatting but you you have you get the idea this is where you format depending what visual you selected this will react to that visual I'm just going to do undo control Z on that visual because that color scheme was terrible and that one so I'll just leave it on this one so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can bring in separate tables use the model view to create a relationship and then use the visualizations to pull information from separate tables and then lastly just do a simple measure that's just going to summarize this data so hopefully that little video is of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one